Hey my loves, if you guys want to see how I took this box jambalaya mix from Bala to Bomb, well here comes the video, just keep on watching, I'm going to tell you how. Okay, you guys, so to start, I got these um, Earthly Grains. That's the brand, and it's just um, box jambalaya mix. I picked these up from Aldi's. I believe that they were like, I want to say $1.19 per box or maybe $0.99 cents a box. They were super cheap, so I was a little suspect about them. Um but I wanted to try and see what I can do with it. So the instructions just said to add meat and you will have a meal ready to go. And I'm showing you guys for a fourth of a cup, it's 150 calories, but the sodium is 390 milligrams. So this is what we are going to be starting with. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to put quite a bit, a bit of meat in here since my boyfriend was going to be eating it too. And as you can see, I was doing two boxes, so I was trying to kind of double everything. Um, so this is just three chicken thighs that I defrosted and I'm cutting up right now. And you guys, something is absolutely wrong with my cutting board. It like bowled out in the dishwasher or something and now it just like slips and slides on the counter. Like I swear, I almost lost my life three separate times. So anyway, gonna be on the lookout for a new cutting board. After cutting up all of the chicken, I seasoned it with some salt and pepper and a little Tony, um, is it Chacherets, I don't know how to say it, Creole seasoning. And now I am just cooking it in my wok because it's the biggest pan that I have. So after my chicken is just about done, I go ahead and add some turkey kielbasa to it. This is the Fit and Active brand that I got from Aldi's. It was $1.99 for the pack and I absolutely love this stuff. It really makes you feel like you're eating sausage or something like pork related, even though you're not. You're only eating turkey. So anyway, I just sauteed this in the pan until both of them are done cooking. Okay, now you have all that yummy meat flavor in there. It's time to add some vegetables. I chopped up a yellow and an orange bell pepper just because it's what I had. If I had had a green bell pepper, I would have used um, a green bell pepper instead, but I did not. So I had to use half an orange and half a yellow. I just think the green looks a lot prettier. But anyway, you just saute this until your vegetables start to become somewhat soft or if you want to use a couple of pans, you can do your vegetables first and then just add them to this. Okay, so I didn't show you guys um, adding the onion and garlic, but I used half an onion and two cloves of garlic. And yeah. Okay guys, just cause we did not have enough meat in here, I added a bag of frozen shrimp that I got from Aldi's. And as you guys can tell, I just added it frozen straight to the pan. There's even like still a big clump in there that I'm hoping will heat up so I can break it up. But I mean, this has to be the easiest freaking meal ever. It's so meaty, it's so flavorful, and it is bomb. And it tastes so much more like real jambalaya than the box jambalaya. So anyway, I keep stirring this until the shrimp is warmed up a little bit. Oh my goodness, you guys. I wish we had smell of vision You guys have, oh, if you were only in my kitchen right now. So all the meat and vegetables are ready. I added five cups of water since I did two boxes. It's two and a half cups of water per box. And I am just bringing everything up to a boil to get it nice and bubbly and delicious. I swear, you guys, this smelled so good. Okay, so once your water comes to a nice rolling boil like this you're going to take your jambalaya package and just empty it in there and your package is going to have like the rice and seasonings and all that but with all that other extra goodness we added i mean it's really going to kick it up a notch and wait for it oh my gosh you guys look at this okay my stove is really dirty because i wasted stuff all over it but Oh my goodness, just look how freaking amazing this looks. And you guys, it was so good, especially knowing that it came from a boxed 
jambalaya mix so if you cannot make homemade jambalaya or you don't have the time this is definitely something you can do this has been a first of many from blah to bam series i can't wait to see you guys in the next video So I had to give you guys one more picture. If you see this jambalaya and Aldi's, please go pick it up and doctor it up. See you guys later.